tutorial and tips about how to actually uh, make these pillars as well as the supports to actually support um, the stone ceiling. Um, there is videos about it but people said uh, they weren't too sure how to do it and asked for tips. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a video just to show it firsthand how to actually do this nice and neat. Now uh, first thing you do is you select how big you want to build it. So obviously you can see this is a rough terrain underneath this. There's uh, the terrain above. So I've actually raised it all. So I've boxed out how big I want it. It's obviously, to you see, it's not big enough. I'm actually going to continue it that way a little bit more. Um, just to make it a bit more longer and wider. This is not the great hall that I'm building. So this is something totally different. It's just something that I can show an example of. This will be in the video and we'll have something in here that's not really um, part of the hall. But it, it, you get the idea of... Uh, uh, idea, uh, sorry the idea of how the stone supports work from this video. So same method I use, um, probably slightly different in the way, but I, I'll do my best to explain. So first thing you want to do after you box it out, you raise it around, is when you build these supports here, there you go, pillar. So you put the pillar in. See how I've got the terrain nice and high? So if you go to this one over here, they're roughly as close as you can get. So the way I normally do it is I'd raise it. If it lets me. Yeah, so I'd raise it. I've already got that pillar in. So that pillar is ideal uh, ideal to actually have your centerpiece. So it's exactly center to each block. So I'll try and put this in if it lets me. Oh, come on. Hang on. I'm going to have to smack it a bit. There. So you can see, that's what you want. See how the terrain's like hard up? So it's almost as close as it can get to being level with this. So you do that, you do that all the way around. I'm trying to sh not show you guys the, the, the building to my left. So, ah, oh, it's really difficult. Okay, and then you just go around, you just smack it out of the way. So what this does, it actually knocks away the soil in this area here, but it still keeps quite level with everything else. I'll show you after I hit them all out the way. Uh, that's a miss. Okay. So if I get rid of this, you can see it's virtually the same. See? So that's a little trick. And also what you can do is a misplacement trick. Um, so if I say, for instance, I put this wall here, and I had a window that started here, I can actually lift that window up, and then I can go out here, and then raise a terrain a little bit. And even right here, I can probably lift it up a little bit higher than that. But I'm not going to do it for this one because it's not needed because it's not going to be that high. But you do this, so the outside doesn't look as big. But when you're in the inside, the, wall, the columns and the walls are much higher and they look much more open and much more spacious. Now, these columns, because... Uh, the, oh, sorry, the pillars, sorry. When you place them, you don't actually need to put a cross support on them because as long as they actually are physically touching it, they actually um, get that support. It's different, however, for the walls. So the walls, you're still going to need that grid. Uh, that not grid, uh, a corner piece going across. So if I was going to go down here, as you can see, I can raise this terrain up here, start at the level, I get an extra bit of height. But it does, I don't actually need it. As long as you put that pillar here in the dirt, in the soil, you're fine. You can see this one's a bit low, so I might pump them up a little bit. And obviously you can go through here, change the grass, make it to grass, so it looks how it's meant to be. Obviously you'd play with it a little bit and be a bit nicer. But once I've actually done something like that for the outer support for the wall, so obviously the walls you need the support regardless, because you need to bring it up. Um, I like to put the pillars around it. So for, oh, if you can, there we go. So as I'm going up, you can see I don't have any stone. As you go up, you cover that iron support. This is the easiest way, and plus it actually makes it look a lot nicer with the um, pillars coming up. Um, as you can see, you got a cross piece there, just to give that extra support. I think there's another one. Oh, no, there is. There's not one there. Oh, there might be one there. I'm uh, pretty sure there should be. There, well, there would be one there. Um, so yeah, you would do that. You come up and you connect them to the pillar as well, so you can actually get your ceiling in. Um, so you can see here, 
I've actually done a unique way of actually making a roof, so I haven't actually seen anyone use this yet, so hopefully I'm the first. <laughs> That'd be kind of good. But um, as you can see here, it's just the stairs. So I put the stairs coming up, so they are half resting. So you can see that, so you can see they're alright. So some of them are red, some of them aren't, as you can see. So it depends what they've got in the way of support. So as you can see, this one's got an arch underneath it, so it's nice and green. Same with that one. So it, it depends how you make it, um, but like, you can see this one's almost red, but it's still here. So um, I have put a supporting bar coming through, as you can see this bar right here. So that comes through and connects over here. Yeah, I'll get rid of that too. I think I zoomed out too far, hang on. There we go. So as you can see, there's an arch there. It comes in all the way to the center connects to that pillar. So sometimes you'll find, especially when you do like half blocks, the bar won't actually fit, so you can't actually put it in the middle. So the only way you can actually get in the middle is like how I've done here, how I have a support piece in the middle, so I know that's exactly in the middle. And you just put another bar here and you just place it against the other one and that will work. So that'll give you the support you need to support your structures. Let me show you that one there. That is actually um, a good point to make this structure. You can see how high this is. Up there is all green. That whole top section there is green. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve blocks to the ground. Well, thirteen, including the one that's actually in the ground. So I'm going to go jump down and quickly show you that one. But yeah. Um, here you go. So I raised the terrain as high as I can. I've used iron supports. Now how cool does this look? And if you're wondering why there's no staircase up there, because I went up there and um, I was building as I was going. So I start from one side, build all the way up, build all the way up, build all the way up, and continue doing that. And once I was up there, I fell and died. Um, so that, that was quite fun. You can see then their support goes to about there. Yeah, about there. That's that raised ground comes up to about there. Um, and if you if you wanted to, you can also put a tree in there. So you put uh, one of the pine trees and actually let it grow in there. And you actually put support beams off of that. That's another way of doing it. But the problem with that is you can't see anything when you're going up there. Uh, so you're kind of blind, especially with the, tr uh, the tree branches. So you can and give it a go, it doesn't hurt, but terrain wise and stone wise that's probably the easiest way to do it, so it looks a bit neater. Plus when it's stormy the tree waves in between the thing, I've actually done it before, so if you build it, put a tree in there, the, the storm the tree waves and side to side to side to side, it's a bit weird, but yeah. Doing a cross piece here like I am here, so place in the arch, just a random piece of arch, you can collect the material afterwards. Place an arch that's half, half a stone. Place that right next to this. Get you that piece that goes across here. There is a bar in the middle. That's why I can go and snap that right there. And then continue the support across here for the um, next bit of the um, next level. Now I haven't finished it. I haven't even finished this side yet. I haven't even finished extending it. But I hope this gives you guys a better idea of how this build works. All right, so I have a little bit more of the ceiling just to show everyone how it looks so you can see it's a bit looks a bit weird because that one's that side's complete um, I need to build it a bit further this way but you can see this is what the ceiling looks like it's not as big as when you can actually make it this is only a small structure so I'm just gonna jump down oh and that hurt um, so, but yeah as you can see this is what you get when you actually uh, use the uh, arches and actually, uh, you can see the metal support beams, I can't really help that they're there. I can take them out, but I risk that the ceiling above it is not going to be very well supported. Um, and I added the brazes there so you can actually see even in here. It, it just looks amazing when you actually mix them all together. So the Great Hall, not as beautiful looking as this, but it is still quite nice. It's like very open, very large, um, but you can see the structures you can actually build and the patterns you can build are very 
uh, versatile. So if I made it slightly wider, it looks not much different than it does now. If I made it smaller, it look different as well. So depending how you how wide you make everything, uh, depends how it looks for the ceiling. So you can see the ceiling looks amazing. Um, and if you're wondering about the smoke, so the smoke will travel up and then get stuck, and then it doesn't build up, so then eventually just disappears. So it des despawns basically. As you can see, it's going up and it despawns, so it disappears. So as long as you've got a big enough tunnel, regardless if there's an en exit or entrance for the smoke, it will it'll still disappear and despawn. But yeah, I hope that's helped everyone. Um, this is gonna be it for this video. If you can leave a like and subscribe, um, and even leave a comment if you want uh, in regards to anything else you want to know or any information you want to know. I'm happy to give out any little bit of knowledge, but if you even learn something new that you've got an idea, just shout out to me. I'm happy to have a look at it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Cheers.